Kirkwall is the largest town in Orkney. The name was derived from Norse language and initially meant Church Bay. It was established around a thousand years ago by Norse people. We start our journey in Kirkwall from a wonderful food shop where you can find all sorts of local food. As the main industries here are fishing, farming and distillery, you can find a wide range of the dairy products, spirits and of course fish. When the town was established, the landscape was very different from how it looks now. The central part of the town was all covered by water, and the capital is believed to be located in Bursay. Due to a very convenient location, the early Kirkwall became inhabited. It was followed by construction of the most important part of the town, which we can still observe. Now, St. Magnus Cathedral. It quickly became a centre of learning and education. In later stages, the castle was built near the cathedral. The transfer of the town to the Scottish crown took place in 15th century. Since then, the known language usage steadily declined and the last known native speaker died in 1850. Interestingly, you can still find a dedicated section in the St. Magnus Cathedral's library of Scandinavian books and the Viking sculptures still seem to be carried in many ways, including fairy tales, tattoos, which are quite popular in Orkney, and other things, perhaps. It is less popular than in Shetland, but still quite visible. And I love it. Looking at the graves near St. Magnus Cathedral, you may notice the lifespan in 19th century was much shorter, with average of 50 years. I guess there is another reason to thank science, as it's now almost doubled. Inside the cathedral you can also watch a movie about the history of the cathedral and I highly recommend to do this if you're interested in history.
I was pleasantly surprised how tourist friendly the Isles are. The transportation system, contactless payments almost everywhere, tourist visitor center, beautiful historical places and very welcoming people. The weather forecast is always rain, but I visited the Isles twice over the couple of years and it was always sunny when I was there and I'm looking forward to another trip to this wonderful place.